<laughs> Illinois is losing by passing this new law that eliminates cash bail starting January 1st. That's crazy. This will lead to hundreds of criminals being released from prison. We have a video. What's even? Yeah. Let's get, let's get the video and then let Brian. Before, uh, before he find it. Yeah, go ahead. What's crazy is, I don't know if y'all heard about that like purge shit they got going on. It's not it's actually not, it's not purge, I know, but, like, but that's why I put yeah. the quotes up. They're it's only like, saying that because murder is getting released. Yeah. People with murder charges. But say. it's kind of like it's kind of like a fucking trap. Yeah, like it is. It they gonna release is. them, but any little small thing they gonna just like, yeah, yeah you might look them up. Hey, bro, when I they read ain't get no money while they in there. Hey, jaywalking! Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Starting in January, a new law will no go into effect in Let's Illinois go. called the Safety Act. Part of it eliminates cash bail for most offenses. Today, the Winnebago County State's Attorney says around 400 inmates at the county jail will be released. Under the new law, people arrested for many criminal cases, including battery, robbery, and vehicular homicide, cannot be detained no matter the severity of the crime. Unless there is evidence, they're a flight risk, and a judge can only detain someone for murder and armed robbery if there is a real and present threat to the safety of the community. Jay Hanley and other state's attorneys around Illinois are asking to tweak the law and allow judges to use their discretion in all cases. The Safety Act passed in 2021, and many Republicans have been trying to make changes to it, including Darren Bailey. Bailey continues to promise a repeal of the Safety Act if he's elected governor. It's a move that would be unlikely, even if he won, since it would require the House and Senate to flip, and Democrats hold supermajorities in both chambers. The bill's sponsors are saying the conversation around the Safety Act is not happening in good faith. I think if... Yeah, he got to face that, too. Um, <laughs> so you can catch a body and then you get out? No, 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 it's not that. Okay. It's like if you're waiting. Uh, yeah, yeah, Lyndon, go ahead and... Yeah, and Basically, it's just like, okay, if, if... Say we're speaking on Wesley's situation that just happened, right? He wouldn't have to sit in jail. Like, he wouldn't have had to sit because until he... Basically, it's like there's no bail, so you don't have to, like, sit in jail until your court date. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So it's like you still have to go to court and do all your shit. You can oh, still oh. end up with a warrant. Like, you can still get in trouble, but it's like. You good? Yeah. And they also got to prove that you're a threat to them. Yeah. Society. It's like if, if, the, if you just That's get in issue. trouble and you're no immediate threat to society, they're not just going to hold you and then make you pay all I'm this money. I'm a threat. Cause Th That's my issue. Like, yeah. same thing like Wesley was, was saying. You can you can, you get into jail for like a small thing like weed or something, weed. and now you're stuck in there for six like, days, seven days. You shit. lost your job, you lost your car, all this shit just because you were in there, and even because you did something that you didn't even do. Like say mm -hmm. you're innocent completely. Yep. Now you're Matter in jail fact, for like a week. I was about to say because something you, you didn't do. You can go to jail for somebody else's weed that's in your car. Oh, worse than that, you can go to jail. Everybody in that car going to jail, by the way. Yeah, I know, but we never. no, that's <laughs> not true. It's, it's just somebody, crazy. Nine it's times crazy out of ten, yeah. Mine, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I about to say nine times out of ten. It just yeah, it just sounds really crazy because they're it's like lumping small. in like all offenses. So it's like the little niggas and like the big crimes too. It's just if you're accused, you're you're innocent yeah. until proven guilty. So right. it's like okay, we're not gonna keep you in here if we can't prove that you actually did right. this yet. That's that's <laughs> my <laughs> issue. Um, I don't want to go to the extreme. Well, okay, why everybody is saying the whole purge thing yeah. is because you're releasing people with those type of crimes back but onto the street, and they're saying when they get back out, they're going to just, like, have a free-for-all. So that's not I'm sure true. I'm sure they change their lives. Man, you mm -hmm. never know. But, I mean, you know, you. I'm not going to say that they're going to get out and start doing that. That's a bit extreme. But, you be surprised. like, I don't get the point of releasing them you know i can see like non-violent crimes that's what i was saying at the beginning of the show that's like, what i'm like why how is it y'all can't break this down and find these people like oh he he would you know well, they, they even said the judge it's at the judge's yeah, discretion yeah, yeah, yeah. too it's like if we if we have like enough shit here before we go to court to say like oh this nigga probably did, like really did this shit then okay we'll we'll let him sit in there but it's like okay it's just hearsay. Okay, well, until your court date, you know, it's a money no thing. Bail, and to be saying? honest, it's not that hard to prove yeah, somebody's a threat to society. Facts. Yeah, just That's just what I'm. Look, look at the damn crime. If somebody, if you broke in somebody's house, if you killed somebody, or you know, some right. type of. I ain't gonna lie. Right. You, you can't be a threat to society on weed. 
With that, rape you know what I'm saying? Too. Like you, you just a weird motherfucker. Rape too. Like you, that was our violent crimes. Like it's just obvious. They should, it's, they should engage. Rape. But what we're saying is accusations. Yeah, like going on. Like if you yeah. just get okay, arrested, well accusations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If you just get arrested for something and they don't know that you did it yet. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, as far as people that have been in there because they've already been convicted and everything. Oh, no. Like oh, those not, people aren't getting out. The <laughs> only reason why I can see nonviolent crime, you know, people they, they don't, only reason why they do that petty stuff is because they need more free labor. That's you know true. what I'm saying? They get paid. You pay them to pretty much be in jail. Like Linda said, you lose your job and everything, and they try to inconvenience you over something small, and you're only in there for a week. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, that, what's crazy is, bro, I didn't know they, like, the 13th Amendment shit. Like, I just asked you about that the other day. Like, yeah. they still, like, you they, they about to, uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they about to vote on that, um, <coughs> abolishing that. You know, when you go to jail, you're pretty much a slave. Yeah, shit. you are. And like, like four, four states. That shit was crazy to me. That mm-hmm. shit blew my mind. Yep. 